Well, good morning, YouTube. This is Be The Rider, and we're going to look at the bike and the trailer. It's all set up, getting ready for our trip here. We leave tomorrow, so this is going to be interesting. And we got all hooked up in the garage. We got a waterproof bag for the top of the trailer. And then uh, my wife's pulling on the cam in, so it's quite a freight train here. And then uh, we'll see how that works out for her. Um, she's pulled trailers before, so this one's a little larger. And, uh, so take a look at it and see how it looks. But, um, it's quite a setup for, oh, we're going for 11 days, I think. So, and, uh, you can see from here, that's quite a freight train. So, go all the way down. This time our campers are pretty good size. This is the deluxe, so it stretches out to 15 feet. We got the cooler on there, and then we got the um, waterproof bag for on top. And it's got a refrigerator in it and all the other doodads that we might need for the trip. So we just need to finish packing it up for the few things we got to put in there tonight. And then, uh, well, I'll be set up for in the morning. And we'll just pull right out of the garage and lock up and go. So but here it is so it's a little bit easier for her to pull with three wheels i think than me trying to do it with two that's for sure the other trailer my friends are pulling so they'll be coming with us and you'll see that later so but i thought i'd share the, the look of the trailer and when it's all done here tomorrow morning i'll take a picture of it and everything and have it ready to go but uh you could fit quite a lot of stuff in that, that waterproof bag. This zips around. And we got the extra helmets in there. I got a, a cooler. She got towels and all that. I took a blanket. We got food in there. There's tons of stuff. And there's still more room we could stick in stuff in there and stuff in there if we wanted to. Uh, so, and uh, this folds over like this and falls down, zips down. And it's got these nice little uh, hold downs here. This is for a car. So, it's a little higher than the one that I think timeout sells. So, but other than that, I mean, it's nice having a hard top and you can actually, because inside the trailer, there's, you have the stuff for the trailer and the stuff for in the trailer or in the tent. So this makes it a lot easier that you can add more stuff to. Now I have another trailer. So if I was pulling in, we really wouldn't necessarily need this or we could use it for extra stuff since we plan on traveling for vacation and Sturgis and stuff in another year. This will be a, a plus if we need to uh, take more stuff than what we need. We figure we go on a two week trip and uh, setting up and moving along. So, but it's a one day ride down to the point where we're going to set up the first time and we'll be there for a couple of days and then we're going to tear down and go to another location. So, see what it's like to pack back up and get moving, how long it takes us. And I'll do some time, um, what do you call it, uh, time lapse on that. So, and then uh, see how much gas mileage you get, things like that, how it runs. And it's got a 1300cc motor. So I think it's 1390, uh, three cylinders. So they have lots of torque. So we'll see how it pulls. Alrighty. So we're about to have another adventure, get this adventure off and rolling. So it'll be quite interesting. And uh, see how we all get, get down there and how long it takes us and what it takes us to do it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Be the rider out. Recording. Well, we stopped to get some gas, and K and M them aren't making too far with pulling them trailers. They burned some gas. So I had like a half tank, like a quarter tank left, or a little less than a quarter tank. So, but that happens when you add that much weight to the bikes. So, waiting here to. Get back up and get back on the road. Get it ready to back up. Recording. Continue on to US 19 South. Well, off the highway we go. At 19 South. It's a secondary road, basically a highway at a lower speed. Uh, lots up and down mountains, that's for sure. For 69 miles. So, uh, 60 some miles on this, and then we'll get back on the uh, interstate again. 
Well, there, YouTube. And this is Beta Rider. Finally got to our location. It's a beautiful campgrounds. It's up on a hill, that's for sure. Kind of like up a steep hill and a flat spot, up a steep hill and a flat spot, and so forth. As you can see, it's a nice RVs. Nicely shaded, though. Got some good cover. Got some Royal Mountains. Jan's ordering uh, dinner. Everybody went to go get our chairs because they were in the other trailer. And there's the timeout set up. It didn't take us very long. Um, got the AC unit on the other side set up in there. And uh, it's cooling it down pretty good pretty quick. So it's coming out pretty quick. Pretty nice. Um, show me the extra stuff because you can't put them in the trailer because the trail's full where we stay. So see how that works out. But uh, got a fire pit. And uh, we're right by the bathrooms. Other than the dogs, it's not too bad of a place. I say we're kind of kind of like steps up and down. Then somebody walks by that tent and the dog goes nuts. That's the campground house there, or the office and all that. Pretty nice, the showers and stuff are really nice and clean. I was really impressed with them so far. Correct. So, end up the road. So, it's a little tiring I like, but it is what it is. We're only here for three nights. So until we get to the next campgrounds. Okay, so, uh, alrighty, this is Beat a Rider out. Make sure you got it right.